Hello everyone. In this episode of Angular Pro Screencast, I'll tell you how to get content children by service. Let's look at an example. Why do we need to do so? We have our app animals component and we provide something like content. So we can provide some components, different components and just DOM elements. And our goal is to select elements that are animals. So I would like to select cat, dog and fox and then call some method on these elements. I create for all of them, I create method say. So let's go to our animals component. I want to select all the animals and for each animal, I want to let it say something. How could we achieve it? Probably the first option is to have a link. We can create a link for each component that we would like to select and then with help of content child decorator, select it. And we have our animals. Let's check. You see code cat, dog and fox components are there. That's good. So we can call say method. That script shows an error because on element ref, we don't have say. Yeah, that's, that's sad. But let's try. And yes, it works. Okay. It works, but maybe it's not the best way. In this case, we will have to write down each time our link on component that we would like to select. Sometimes we can just forget about it and maybe not the best. The same goes for directives. I created a directive that could be also used like a link. We can put and then select by directive. Here we have even more problems because now we got all the directive components, all the directive controllers. But we would like to work with actually components. We can use, of course, the option to read here to get exactly component, but we have different components. Let me remind you, we have cat, dog, and fox components. So we can specify all of them. We can try to write down something like cat component. And as you see, you'll get only cat component, but not dog and fox. What to do? In this case, we can select our components by service. First of all, let's define service on all of our components with help of provider, I define service that is called animal. And please be careful, I create it with use existing, not use class by default, but use existing and provide component itself. So I have created kind of alias for our component and provided like an animal service. I did this the same for cats, dog and fox and other animals that I want to use like components. And now I can have access or I can select all these components via service, animal service. Let's check. We select this animal service. Now we can also specify animal class like a type. And what we have? Yes, we have different components here. So we can now call the method on each of them. And yes, it works such a sophisticated way of selecting content children.